In Xinjiang, China, a so-called most expensive bridge was erected. How expensive can it really be? Well, the bridge is only 700 meters long, but it cost 2.39 billion yuan. That is to say, the average construction cost per meter of the bridge is 3.4 million yuan. So, why did the bridge require such a huge sum of money? What are the technological innovations behind it? Well, in today's video, let's take a look at the most expensive in this world. Okay, let's get started. The most expensive bridge is Guazigu Bridge, which is located in Xinjiang, China. It is 700 meters long, and the bridge deck is 200 meters above the bottom of the valley. The bridge deck is designed as a two-way four-lane bridge with a design speed of 80 km per hour. The Guazigu Bridge is the first cable-stayed bridge with twin towers and double-lock surfaces in China, and also the first cable-stayed bridge in Xinjiang. It officially started on August 16, 2006, and was officially announced to be completed on September 30, 2011. Although the cost is high, it plays an extremely important role in the lives of local people. This is an important part of the Lianyun Ganghuargos Expressway, and it is also a traffic artery across the Eurasian continent. Before the Guazigu Bridge was built, the mountain roads here were extremely dangerous, and various natural disasters such as avalanches, floods, and landslides often occurred, which made the traffic of people passing here very inconvenient. It was not until the Guazigu Bridge was built that a series of travel problems were solved and people could travel here. As one saying goes, if you want to be rich, build roads first. The construction of the Guazigu Bridge is conducive to the development of local transportation and at the same time strengthens the communication between the East and the West. Besides, the Guazigu Bridge has also promoted the development of local tourism. This spectacular and expensive bridge has also become one of the tourist destinations. Many people come here to visit and take pictures. Moreover, the convenience of transportation has also brought more economic benefits, and more and more investments have begun to enter the local area, which has promoted the local economic development. Although the construction of the bridge is very valuable for local development, even the longest cross sea bridge, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, and the highest Beipanjiang Bridge, these world famous bridges do not need that much money. But why does the short 700 meter long bridge require such a high construction cost? In fact, compared with other bridges, the construction of Guazigu Bridge is very difficult. There are five major problems, each of which is big headache for engineers. The first problem is the steep terrain. Guazigu is a large canyon, the terrain between the valleys has a huge drop, and the hillside is extremely steep. The snow here is heavy, and it belongs to the permafrost layer. It is extremely difficult to build a road on such a valley. Moreover, the terrain environment is complex and changeable, and natural disasters often occur. Workers are often shut down as a result, increasing construction costs. Secondly, the curvature of the road on the hillside is extremely high, and the technical difficulty is extremely high. The height and remoteness of the valley also made it extremely difficult to transport the materials needed for construction, and the transportation cost also increased accordingly. In addition, due to the special climate conditions in Xinjiang, many construction team members are often harassed by diseases due to their inability to adapt to the unfamiliar environment. From the perspective of environmental protection, the Guazigu Bridge passes through the famous local Guazigu scenic area, which undoubtedly adds another difficulty for engineers. Because of passing through natural scenic areas, the issue of environmental protection cannot be ignored, so pollution issues should be considered as much as possible during construction. In addition, building bridges requires large-scale sites. However, the construction team's equipment placement, personnel living, and equipment entry all require an open terrain, which Guazigu Canyon does not have. Finally, there is the cold climate. The drop in temperature is not conducive to the construction of concrete materials, so construction personnel need to maintain the temperature of concrete construction through special means. 
In many cases, the concrete has not been put into use, and the local dry and cold climate will cause the material to solidify, which will easily cause waste of materials and increase the cost of time and labor. To sum up, the construction conditions of the Guazigu Bridge are very harsh, no less difficult than the construction of other world-renowned bridges, so the high construction cost is a matter of course. So, how did Chinese engineers solve these architectural problems? The new technology, new structure, and new technology used in the construction of this bridge are all major breakthroughs in Chinese bridge construction and set a good precedent for the innovation of Chinese bridge construction technology. Some engineers even wrote a book about the construction process of the Guazigu Bridge, which records many innovative techniques. The first is the choice of bridge type. Based on the complex terrain of the Guazigu Bridge, engineers proposed a construction plan for a cable-stayed bridge with steel truss girders. This solution well solves the transportation and structure problems brought about by the complex terrain, and also solves the factor of the narrow site. The second is the choice of materials. As the construction material for the bridge, engineers chose steel trusses. Compared with concrete beams, this material has better force resistance and more stable structure, and can well adapt to the local complex geological structure. In addition, it has good earthquake resistance and is safer in the face of local natural disasters. The size of this material is relatively small, which is very convenient for long-distance transportation and factory manufacturing, and it is not affected by the weather. The installation is simple and fast, the construction risk is also small and the quality can be guaranteed. In terms of construction technology, the bridge adopts integral node technology. From the appearance, the overall structure is smooth, and the number of parts used is also reduced, and the installation efficiency is higher, which greatly reduces the construction period. In addition, engineers built a meteorological observation station near the construction site, and then compared and analyzed the collected data with several nearby weather stations to deduce the meteorological parameters at the bridge site. Engineers used digital terrain to calculate and analyze the wind field, deduced the wind environment parameters of the Guazigu Bridge, and conducted dynamic characteristic analysis of its structure, segmental model, and full bridge model wind tunnel tests to find out the wind resistance performance of the bridge. As a result, more researches and discussions have been carried out on the construction risk of bridges, which has improved the safety of bridges. Since the Guazigu Bridge is located in a famous local scenic spot, the requirements for the appearance design of the bridge are also very high. Therefore, the bridge adopts the architectural structure of the main tower of a cable-stayed bridge. The height above the deck of the main tower of this bridge is lower than the height of the pier, which is rare. The design adopts a stepped shape, and the vision is divided in the height direction. This is very good from the perspective of landscape effect, and it is also the first architectural structure in China. The last is the bridge deck material of the Guazigu Bridge. Engineers chose prefabricated concrete slabs, which improved the durability and driving comfort of the bridge deck. The above innovative technologies are the wisdom of Chinese engineers. For similar architectural problems in the future, you can refer to their methods. It is because of their ingenuity that they can overcome construction problems one after another, build lifelines one after another for many areas with underdeveloped transportation, and promote the development of many areas. Well, thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. See you next time.